Did you come home today, power on your MacBook Pro to find that it is actually not working correctly. You can't get it to do anything. It's showing up this random no symbol or it's just showing a white screen without anything on it. Or maybe it's actually showing a blinking folder. Well, if it is, this video is for you. So hit like and uh, just stay tuned because we're gonna show you exactly how to fix this today. Okay, to start this tutorial, you're gonna need three different things. You're gonna need a unibody hard drive cable uh, from amazon.com or anywhere. You're gonna have to look up the serial number on yours to find it. And you're gonna need two tools. You don't need the um, little lever thing. You can use your fingernail, but you do need the screwdriver. So I would suggest getting a little small screwdriver, really small, like a jewelry screwdriver. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure the MacBook Pro is already off and it's been off for 30 seconds. Then we're going to hold down the power button to turn it on and we're going to be holding another button down in combination while we do that. The button combination we're gonna be holding down is Command and R and we're gonna be holding those down both at the same time while the MacBook is actually turning on. So you can see I'm pressing down and then I go over here and I'm actually going to press uh, the power button, but make sure you already have them pressed down before you turn on the computer. Don't do it like I did here. Once the computer turns on, you're gonna continue holding on the command and R until the screen pops up with internet recovery and it's gonna ask you what your Wi-Fi network is. Or if you have an LAN or you're running on internet on cable, that's fine. It's not gonna ask you for that. You don't need to enter it. And it's gonna download a recovery software for your Windows. And that's what it's gonna do. So you're gonna continue, you're gonna enter your Wi-Fi password if you have Wi-Fi, and you're gonna give it a second and then it's gonna load up and it's gonna start loading the internet recovery. If you don't get this screen and you actually get this problem right here, getting a um, error like 1007 or 106F like this, you're gonna to need to restart the computer again and you're gonna do the same thing we just did again. Turn off the computer, hold down Alt this time instead of a Command R and you're going to push down the power button and turn it on while holding the Alt slash Option key on the left side. Continue holding this and you're gonna give it a second and as it pops up, it'll give you a notification. Once the notification that says choose network has popped up, then you can let off the option button. Then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna choose the network you need to be on in order to get on uh, to it. Sometimes hard drives will pop up. If they do, that means it's just messing up. But once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and click the button. It's gonna load up internet recovery like this. You're gonna click the internet recovery button. It might take a lot longer for that internet recovery button with the arrow to pop up, so give it time. Once it does that, it's going to load this little status bar, so give it time to load. It could take up to three hours, depending on your speed. Once it loads up, you're going to load up in the OSX utilities, and you're going to navigate to the disk utility, because we're going to verify that your disk is actually intact, and that there's nothing wrong with the disk, because this, has, this is actually a cable problem. And as you can see, I have a disk zero, and I have a Mac OS base six system. Um, so we're actually diagnosing it as basically not the hard drive, but it's the cable that's saying that it's broken, but the hard drive's not. So now we're going to go navigate to the startup disk here. Once the startup disk opens up, it's going to say um, it's going to start up the computer. There should be a hard drive. If there's not a hard drive, then that's okay because that means the cable's messing it up, not the hard drive most of the time. Um, after that, you're going to go over to reinstall OS X and you're going to close the startup disk utility. Once this loads up, you're going to click all the navigational options to get into the actual menu. And what this is going to do is install your, your Lion again, and it's going to get it working. You can do this multiple times because uh, the, the cable will work a couple times, but it might corrupt uh, again. So you're going to end up having to replace the cable anyway, and we're going to be getting into the tutorial next as soon as you're doing that. Once you've done that and you've verified that this will not load the OS X and there's no hard drives popping up, as you can see, you're going to restart the computer and then turn it off. Once the computer is turned off, you're going to flip over the computer and you're going to get your jewelry screwdriver. You're going to take out all these screws on the bottom of the computer. There's going to be like seven or eight of them. There's going to be th three of them on the closer part to the, to the joint of the, of the monitor that are gonna be longer. So you're gonna need to remember where those go because they will only go in that spot. Once you get that taken off, you're gonna pop it off and you're gonna lay that to the side. You don't really need that anymore. And then you're gonna go and focus on where the hard drive is at. I'm using a Hitachi hard drive and there's a cable here. So we're gonna unplug that cable. You can do it by hand or you can use a little lever like I had. It's gonna pop off and once you do that, then you're gonna take your jewelry screwdriver and you're going to take off the four screws that hold down the bracket bracing for the actual hard drive. There's two screws that come off with a bracket that's gonna come off directly as it sh as follows. And then you're gonna actually go and pull off the other screws which actually come out in a different way. Once you've done that, you're gonna pull up on that plastic lever and it's gonna come out. It might be sticky and stuck to the bottom of the frame, but that's okay. There's your Hitachi hard drive. 
Now you're gonna flip it over with the blue side facing up and you're gonna see there's two more screw cables bracketed down to the framework of the CD drive, of the optical drive. You're gonna take those two screws out and you're gonna lay them to the side as well because you will need those later because it doesn't come with it. Then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna pull out the hard drive and set the laptop to the side. And this is the part where we're emphasizing you gotta take off uh, the clip, set the hard drive to the side and you actually have a unibody hard drive cable right here and this is the problem right here it's not the cable but there's your uh, serial number you're gonna need that to order your new cable um, the, you're gonna go emphasize on this part because this is the part that's messed up um, see this little bracket this thing with the black thing that's the thing that's messed up you're gonna have to use the the screwdriver and you're gonna have to um or something flat to flip it up and you're gonna move that yellow piece out of the cable There's, it can only be done and be done gently if you do this too crazy it might mess up so you're gonna need to flip it up once it's standing straight up, the cable should come out directly in the same direction as the flipped up part is. Once that cable is flipped up, you can pull that off, that black thing, and it's sticky, so it'll just come off. And once that's actually taken off, all you have to do is replace um, that cable once you get it in the mail and put this all back together in the same way you had it when you load up. If it doesn't give you um, a hard drive option, reinstall your OS just like we were going to. It should give you a hard drive option then, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. If this helps you in any way, please comment and like it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.